Hi guys, it's Jessica here for box opening. I've got two packages here from Denver Doll Emporium uh, and I wanted to share the contents with you. Um, I think I'll, maybe I'll start with this. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the, I guess I can give it away because it's going to be in the, <clears throat> Uh, title of the video, but it's my um, uh, Fairyland Mini Fee Mio uh, in tan resin, and she is uh, going to come with their company face up. Um, and this doll actually took quite a while. I'm trying to think when did I order her? I think I ordered her in May. May, June, July, August, September, October. So, I mean, it's been about five months, actually. Um, the first uh, Fairyland doll that I ordered earlier this year didn't take as long. Um, and truthfully, if they'd been quicker about it, I probably would have ordered another. Um, I don't know if it's a combination of it being tan and having a face up. I'm sure those things uh, take more time. Uh, but because uh, I think the first one I ordered was just shy of three months so uh, yeah because I would probably have placed another order um, well I did <laughs> I did I ordered a full set uh, um, mini fee Maya with a 20th century um, doll uh, and uh, but um, I, I just uh, <clears throat> I am interested in just getting some of the sculpts that I've that I like um, uh, and have um, wanted. Uh, I really would like to get a Cleo, Chloe, Cleo, <laughs> a Chloe too. Um, so I'm going to open up this little package. Uh, I thought I'd open it first just because. It is. There's my invoice. I'll we'll put that over there. <laughs> um, oh, you can see right off. Cute. So these are um, <clears throat> uh, shoes that I ordered specifically because I need some shoes that fit Little Fee. Uh, and those are really cute. I will share a little more later about um, why I needed those. And those are adorable. Wow, I, I'm kind of interested to try those on a bunch of dolls, potentially, that those might fit. Um, these are the doll in style shoes. Um, and then I went ahead and got these uh, Leak World. They were on sale. Um, they weren't $53. They were on sale. Um, I think they were like $30. They were way cheaper. I wasn't going to pay $53 for them. Um, but those are pretty cute. Uh, and I am in need of shoes for USD style uh, size dolls. That's Olive. She is upset because the other dogs have taken the best beds and so now she's mad and that's her way of expressing her displeasure so that I will uh, do something to change the situation for her. <laughs> hey you little stinker. Oh, actually, let me grab. So this was a little, a little fee Chloe that I bought on the second hand market um, in tan. I would really like a little fee 
anti as well in the tan resin. Um, currently, you can only order Minifi a, a la carte in tan. Um, so I'm waiting for that to come back, but I actually really like this girl. Uh, I think I think she's going to stick around. I really like her a lot. Um, I've I've had a Pukli fee and I've had a real fee, and I sold both of them. They just didn't work for me for whatever reason. I just didn't feel inspired by them. So let's try these little shoes. I, lo I love the color. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, those fit good. Nice. Yeah, they fit her really good. She's wearing a little outfit that I made actually quite a while ago. Maybe almost a couple years now that I made this outfit. Um, yeah, she's pretty cute. Those fit good. I still see her there. Um, dolly nudity, because this is a little doll. Uh, this is a doll zone uh, YoSD body that's actually the boy body, but it has these really delicate hands and features that the girl body doesn't have, so um, I use it as a girl body, uh, even though it has a peen. I'm actually kind of interested if these shoes would fit the feet. They are a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, and a little bit thinner than the little feet. feet. So let's see here. Um, and this is a Lily Cat um, ombre head. Let's see. Yeah. I can squeeze them on. I don't want to like tear the shoes, but I can force them on. So actually that's a good find because finding shoes that fit this body has been pretty difficult. Um, white skin body is really hard to film. So yeah, if you're, this is the uh, newer YoSD body that Dollzone came out with. It's been a few years now. Uh, it came out with the Yo Carter. Um, it was the body that was with the Yo Carter. And <clears throat> yeah, it, you can kind of squeeze them out a little bit, but they actually work pretty good. Uh, and These, kind of interested to see if these will fit to, oh, they look like they might, take the zipper in the back. They look kind of big and they make them, they make USD boots, so I don't know why they have to make them so thick like that. Um, I'm not a fan of that style. And they kind of, from the pictures they showed on Denver Doll, they didn't look like they were like that. I wish they would have more definition in here. Um, but they'll look cute maybe under some pants or under a skirt. I definitely wouldn't have wanted, I mean, they're cute, but I don't think they're $53 cute as far as like the level of detail. For $53, I definitely want a lot more quality. Um, but for the amount that I paid for them, I'm, I'm happy. Um, okay, uh, we're 10 minutes in. Mm. Uh, if I make these videos too long, then I can't upload them. Uh, and I have to split them up. So I'm gonna open this. This is my, uh, as I said, my tan uh, Mio. 
I have uh, Mio is one of the ones that I've always really liked of the of the kind of classic um, mini fee sculpts. And so I will probably throw away this outer box because um, it's. Uh, I try to keep the boxes if they are uh, going to fit the uh, box, if they are if they are a properly fitting shipper box. But the boxes that come from Denver Doll typically aren't. Well, this one's not too bad, so I might. Yeah, they put they just put some foam in, so. Um, so you can kind of see it's not a tight fitting actual shipping box like which would have come directly from a company typically so i just typically don't keep them otherwise i do keep shipping boxes because they can be really useful oops did i just show my address <laughs> okay got some numbers and symbols on there. I don't know if that's like my order number. I never looked to see if it matched my order numbers. But this is a green box. Uh, Fairyland boxes are so pretty. They are um, very beautiful. Like it's this, um, it's not just a single layer. It's this folded, uh, just the box itself is just a really nice high quality box um, so I'll show you this really nice material um, that has this nice texture to it and color it's it's nicely made it's a high quality box guys uh, down to doll order yep I guess that's my order so is up. Well, that kind of makes, I should write on here, yeah, I should keep track of this, because <laughs> I'm really bad about keeping track of all these things, um, so that I know which box goes to which doll at this point got it. When it comes to the mini fees, uh, it's a freaking disaster, um, it, my, my, any of my Fairyland dolls, because these all look, they all look the same, they don't fill out, um, yeah, they put a sticker on it with the number on it, uh, but they don't, it doesn't have any uh, of the information. So, um, in theory, they have the, it, the, the number registered in the information in their own registry, um, one would hope. Uh, and someday I'm just going to have to submit them a bunch of numbers and get it all sorted. Which certificate belongs to who? Uh, but this is our box. Excuse me, Lola. He's going to start coming and helping. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. She is. I just love these boxes so much. Did I open the right way? Yep. So here she is. Ooh, I can see her little eyeballs sunk back in her head. So I ordered a pair, uh, an extra pair of tan heeled feet with her. Oh shoot, they didn't get me the right bust. They never did answer me on it. Um, so that's okay. I still like it. Um, I am just, I'm trying to get more of the girls in the big, in the big bust. <laughs> it's really fun to sew for and looks really good in corsets so here is her eyeballs have fallen into her head it's okay because we're going to change them out boy her head cap is freaking glued on there. Okay, I can't get it off right now. 
but so <laughs> she's looking pretty cross-eyed um but oh what a it's a very beautiful face up i love the natural makeup um i think the first i think the reason i didn't like my first girl and one of the reasons was there was a few reasons but her face up was one of them it, it i had ordered on white skin and um she had yellow makeup and it just just did not it wasn't appealing like it like execution wise the face up was well done but it just wasn't appealing with the colors oh my goodness this head cap is not coming off easy okay so i might come back in a minute she is really tightly strung I just love mini fees though. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So pretty. This resin is gorgeous. Um, wow. This is um so I can see a little bit of uh sanding marks there, but actually I think she's really pretty. Um I can see her magnets through there and the glue just when the light's shining through um, but they've got those magnets on their back and there's a there's a sanding mark there but wow this girl is really beautiful um, this like as far as seam lines and sanding marks like wow this is just really I'm really impressed um, I'm really impressed with her. Nice. She is super cute. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and try to get uh, her head cap off so I can fix her eyeballs. Um, I will be back in a minute. Bye, guys. Okay, it's been a little bit. I was playing, which is fine. Oh, uh, but I love her. She is looking so cute. Look at her. She's wearing um, an outfit that, uh, uh, well, it's not even an outfit. <laughs> it's a it's a baby doll type uh, shirt, um, long enough to be a skirt, a mini mini skirt, um, and these. Uh, boots um and it just went out of my brain where i got these boots i did i talked about them in a video before where i got a bunch of these shoes um from a seller on ebay but i think she is so adorable i managed to get her head cap off and it actually wasn't too bad at all like i just had to hit it just right for leverage from behind and it came right off um so uh, it stays on pretty nice, which is good. Uh, but I put some Oscar doll eyes in her. They are full set eyes from one of the later releases. I think it's, gosh, this lighting. I think that they are from the, that vampire, um, Hoa doll. Uh, but they're really pretty. I have a few pairs of them. They're one of my favorites. And she's wearing an Apalka wig that was made by Mini Doll Cuties. I think that's her name. Um, she is, she she's in the Netherlands. Yeah, she's in the Netherlands. So I am, uh, this is one of the little um, hearts that come with the legit BGD owner um, enamel pins. So I have a couple of those. Oh, isn't she adorable? I just, I love Mio. I, I am so happy with her. Love her, love her. She is so, so cute. So cute. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with her. She is stinking adorable. I love the face up. 
I was worried that I was not going to like the face-up. I was trying to find photos of the original, what the default face-up would look like, and I couldn't find any. Um, and I was worried I wasn't going to like it because I didn't like my um, Celine's face-up, and she was uh, my first mini fee. So I'm, I'm really, really happy. Um, let's see, I'm not sure. I kind of real quick wanted to show you guys uh, those shoes. Let's see. Can you guys see her? So this is what this is really what I ordered those shoes for was for this doll Because and I think that they are not too bad um, The pink were not in stock they might have been a little bit better but this doll I made this outfit for her, and this is a Lutz Honey Delph, and I think her name is like Waffle Princess or something. I can't remember. It just went out of my brain. But I bought her secondhand from um, DX Girly, and she actually did her, her face up. And so I finished this outfit last week, and this doll I am going to gift to my mother-in-law for her birthday at the end of the month. I just need to make her some uh, bloomers to go under this and uh, I was going to see if I could figure out how to make her a cute bonnet to go with this. Like one of those old-fashioned kind with all of the frills underneath. Uh, I thought that that would be really fun and um, something like that my mother-in-law would really like. So yeah, her wig is, uh, this is a Nadina Dolls wig. Uh, it is little fee size and fits her perfectly. So uh, I made this out of the Dubani silk and some, um, I don't know what you would call this fabric. It's, yeah, it just went out of my brain what you would call it, but yeah, I'm, I, I worked on the, I made the uh, pattern myself and it's not the most fantastic thing, but I think it turned out pretty good. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, I might come back later with more. We'll see, it's already getting late. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.